case. Hillary Clinton's camp going hard after Donald Trump on two fronts for a word that Trump used in an interview and also his refusal to release his taxes. Our Decision 2016 team has it covered this morning. Let's start with NBC's Andrea Mitchell. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Hillary Clinton still trying to put away Bernie Sanders on the attack so that she can focus all of her attention on Donald Trump. But Sanders is defiant, refusing to back down. And last night, Trump fired a shot squarely at Clinton's husband, former President Bill Clinton. In one case, it's about exposure. In another case, it's about groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will. And rape. And rape. Donald Trump using that word unprompted during an interview last night with Fox News' Sean Hannity, bringing up long-denied accusation against former President Bill Clinton, dating back to 1978 when he was Arkansas Attorney General. Late last night, the Clinton campaign responded in a statement that read, Trump is doing what he does best, attacking when he feels wounded and dragging the American people through the mud for his own gain. If that's the kind of campaign he wants to run, that's his choice also accusing him of trying to change the subject from his refusal to release his taxes. Meanwhile, six months until Election Day and the Democratic Party is a house divided. Bernie Sanders in California rallying his supporters against the Democratic Party establishment. And our job is to go to the Democratic Convention and together win the Democratic nomination for president. Sanders not giving up, even though Hillary Clinton now needs fewer than 100 delegates to lock up the nomination. So you won't accept the idea that she's the presumptive nominee on June 7th based on that math? I think the senator has been very clear okay. uh, that we're going to go through the process uh, and that he's going to the convention. But Vice President Biden is downplaying talk of a splintered party. I'm confident that Bernie will be supportive of Hillary Clinton, which the numbers indicate will happen. Um, and so I'm not... I'm not worried. With bad blood between Sanders staffers and party leaders and chaos caused by Sanders supporters Saturday at Nevada's state convention, Clinton allies are trying to lower the temperature. The goal, a replay of 2008, when Clinton delivered a full-throated endorsement of Barack Obama after their bruising primary. Whether you voted for me or you voted for Barack, the time is now to unite as a single party with a single purpose. NBC News has reached out to the Trump campaign this morning to ask why he brought up that long-denied Bill Clinton allegation. So far, no response. All right, Andrew Mitchell that. in Washington, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.